What's up, guys? Cheeto here from the AB Pod. Been a super long time since I've talked to you guys last. Today, I just recently changed the oil on the bike. Uh, I'm a fucking idiot and did not have my camera with me, so I didn't film the actual process, but I was kind of nervous going into it, so I'm just going to make a quick video detailing what I did, the uh, products that I bought and used for it, and let you know how simple it really is. It's not hard. I was worried about nothing. I mean, if you can change the oil in your car, change the oil in your bike, not a big deal. Not a whole lot of difference there. And uh, hopefully save you guys some money in the process. Now, the kit I used is a oil change kit from J&P Cycles. I'll put the link in the comments below, but I think it cost me 90 bucks if it comes with five quarts of oil, an oil filter, transmission oil, and primary fluid too. So I mean, it's got everything in it that you could use. Uh, one thing that I didn't order was the O-ring kit, and I'll put the link to that too. I wish I would have bought that, but my O-ring on my drain plug really wasn't too bad. I think uh, next oil change, I definitely will be replacing it though. So, I mean, that's something you can get just to make sure, you know, peace of mind or whatever. And it's not a bad thing to have. So I'll post that down the link too. And um, the oil filter that they sent me was chrome. Uh, with my bike being dark, I didn't really want the chrome, even though you can't really see it. Uh, I had to look for mine, and then mine that was on there was chrome already, too. And I didn't, you know, you don't really notice it with all the stuff on the front end of these bikes. But I ordered a K&N filter from Revzilla. It's got the nut on the end. That way I don't have to dick around with those stupid oil filter wrenches. And it just looks better, in my opinion, too. So I'll put, put all that information down uh, in the description. And I did the entire oil change with it on the kickstand. Uh, I'm sure people don't recommend that, but I don't have a lift in my garage, and my old lady won't let me spend any more money. So I'm sure you all know how that is. So I don't have a lift. I just did it all off the kickstand, and... It worked out just fine so you guys don't need a bunch of fancy shop equipment whatnot this can all be done off the kickstand in your garage you might have to roll around on the floor a little bit but not a big deal so let's get into it all right first thing you're gonna do is open up your dipstick right here that's gonna let everything flow Make sure you get all your oil out, not create a vacuum. Just ease the process of everything. Next thing you're going to do is crawl underneath the bike. And you're going to look for that right there. That's your drain plug. That takes a 5 8 socket. Back it off. And that will drain all of your oil out of the bike. Now make sure you got your dipstick out like I said before because that will help everything flow out. Once you get that off you can check your o-ring on it and if it needs replaced replace it with the kit or I'm sure they sell the o-rings at a local auto parts store but if you get that kit it's a lot easier just to have it. Uh, if your o-ring doesn't need replaced wait until the oil is done draining out and then make sure you put that back in before before you go to put any oil in the bike and once you get the drain plug out make sure you got your dipstick released and all the oils drained out of the bike it's down to a drip then you come in here and loosen up your filter and like i said there was a chrome one on it is right at the front of the motor and you're gonna make a mess I've read where people will put tin foil underneath 
I've read where they've used uh, shop rags or whatever and stuffed them in there to try and limit the oil spill. I tried all that and I still puked oil all over all over the floor. Uh, it's going to happen and then with all the stuff on the front of the ultras, you know, you can't really get in there. So you're going to have a little bit of cleanup to do again. It's really not that big of a deal. Just part of the process. All right. You've got the oil out. You get your filter off. Once you get your filter off, you get your new filter out. You want to fill it up about halfway with uh, oil. Now the kit that I had, it came with a gallon and then it had a quart with it. But what I did is I just took the quart, opened it up, poured some in the filter, screwed the filter back on, done there. And then I came around where the dipstick's at and I just used that quart. These bikes, the my 2018, the 107, takes uh, four and a half quarts. So use that whole gallon and then the half quart. I just poured in what was left of the quart to make it so there was still a half quart left after I used the filter and then dumped in the whole gallon of oil that I got. Um, sealed it back up and started it up and let it warm up and check the levels. And it's really as simple as that. Make sure your levels are good and then you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Like I said, this is a super simple job. I got maybe a hundred bucks in it and no labor fees from the dealerships. Did it all in my garage off the kickstand. Uh, if you're watching this, I have a feeling you can probably handle doing this yourself and save you some money. Be good to go for the rest of the summer. So thanks for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, comment. I try and answer every comment I get. Uh, and I appreciate you guys watching this. And I'll try and make sure that uh, I'm filming a little bit more and there's not so much time in between, <laughs> in between videos. So thanks again, guys. Gotta get the sticker on the beer fridge.